rise royals all right let's go in and let's see what is going on inside of your connection okay i know <laughs> i missed you guys for at least the past five days right but i did manage to get out a video for you that don't know i was on vacation and I was having technical difficulties, which made it very difficult for me to get a video out for you guys. But I was able to at least drop one video. So I was happy about that. But anyways, let's get into tonight since I missed you guys on Sunday. This is going to be an 18 plus. Okay. And this reading is going to be about you, Divine Feminine. Okay. I want to talk about you a little bit, right? I want to go in and I want to see, um, you know, what type of powers you have, right? I want to see how, you know, um, you heal people, right, through your sex, okay? So, as I was riding today in my car, okay, I was out. At about 7.30 this morning, I heard soul snatching sex, okay? So, my divine feminines, okay, have soul snatching sex, right? It's something about you that snatches people's souls, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? When they enter you, it's just like, snatch, thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get into this nasty, freaky ass shit. All right. I want to see what type of powers you possess with the lotus. Okay. Let's get into it. Hopefully enough of you have entered the room. Hello. If you like the vibes, okay, on this channel, be sure to hit that like button, okay, and subscribe. <laughs> That's the only way you're going to keep up, baby. Subscribe, all right? We are growing, and I have definitely uh, promised you guys a few things, but we'll get into that next time, okay? Let's jump into this reading. Spirit, who could we be connecting to? Who is in the house that has this soul snatching energy about them when it comes to being intimate? Who is it? Give me the energy, please. All right. Soul snatcher number one. Who is it? Aquarius. <laughs> All right. Mm hmm. An air sign. Let's go. I get you. I get you. I'm a Gemini. Let's go. Libra. Another air sign. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think it's the air signs, y'all. Okay. We don't play no games. We don't play no games. Let's keep going. Pisces. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Scorpio. Virgo. Okay. Water signs are out here, okay? The water signs are out here. Spirit said, get one more card. Aquarius, okay. So that's confirmation. I knew I was feeling that. Air signs, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm not about to play with y'all today. You know it's about to be juicy. You know it's about to be juicy. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Where are my 
here we are okay spirit give it to me what is what's about what is it about this uh this divine feminine that gives this divine feminine soul snatching energy when it comes to sex right what is it about the divine feminine okay let's go let's go mm. okay so this is what it is you guys okay like i said at the beginning you're a healer okay you heal people when it comes to um physical the physical right physically entering you all right there's a healing activation that goes on right now we are talking about your divine masculine okay you heal this divine masculine you could definitely be sleeping with other people you heal them as well all right that's what i'm hearing it's something about uh your your body okay it's the fluids that is around this masculine's wand okay that strengthens strengthens them in some type of way <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> come on now right you get this person rock hard all right if we're talking about a male divine uh masculine right if we're talking about a female divine masculine you have this person as ocean right flowing like nobody's business okay covers be wet all right mattress be wet all legs be wet okay but back one to uh, divine masculine, if it's a male, right? You pay attention to, uh, I hear that somebody pays attention to that big fat vein, right? That flows along your masculine's wand, okay? I hear a lot of you lick that part. <laughs> damn okay that's why you have soul snatching sex this is why because you pay attention to things like that okay um a lot of people don't do that a lot of people don't even pay attention to to that very very important part on uh the divine masculine right when it comes to that wand and this is why that person stays like this okay i mean they stay like this <laughs> let's go let's keep going right you're very present in the moment okay when it comes to uh your divine masculine you're very present you know you're watching their every move you're watching their uh, their every facial expression right you're watching how they they uh, tweak and and and, and flinch and, and you know I hear a lot of uh, toes curling going on right especially when you're riding this divine masculine shit let's go ooh ooh, ooh baby look at this y'all Healing is here twice. Okay. Healing is here twice. I want y'all to see this shit. Look at this. Hopefully y'all can see it. Healing. Healing. Okay. Literally. Right. When your person enters you. Okay. When divine masculine. It is something about that first initial entrance. Okay that 
drives this divine masculine crazy okay i'm hearing i'm hearing that the first initial entrance is like it's like it's it's tight right it's tight it's juicy you know what i'm saying it's warm okay you take this person to a sanctuary all right this is why you have soul snatching sex because you take this person literally to some type of outer world okay and here this person has a safe haven god damn <laughs> come on spirit channel this shit channel it okay once they get there, it's like a safe haven. This person is safe. Okay? Inside of this world. Okay? Inside of your world. Right? It's a safe haven. It's, it's magical. Right? It's literally like they're riding a wave of uh, magic. Right? Damn, I'm here in solace. Come on now. Let's get one more out of here. Let's get one more out of here. Oh, Spirit said it might not be one more. It might be several more. Okay, Spirit. You the boss. <laughs> you the boss. Let's go. One more. One more shuffle. Yes, you definitely take this person to La La Land. Y'all know I love La 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 Land. Okay, look at this. Right. Mm, ooh, okay. Okay. So, I'm also getting that you guys definitely have history together. Mm, 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 mm. And that's what makes... That's what makes you have soul snatching sex. Okay. Like I said, you know, you know exactly how this person likes it. Okay. Now, if you have not known this person for a very long time, okay, you've known this person in past lives, whether you know it or not. Okay. And this is why you're able to please this person to this magnitude right you guys when your bodies come together it sings a song right <clears throat> i don't know what song that is shit don't ask me i don't know <laughs> okay but your bodies definitely sing a song okay when you two are finally inside of one another Okay, when this person is inside of you and when you're, you know, um, I don't want to say inside of your person because you can't go inside. Well, some, some, some of you can. Okay, but y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. Let's go. Right. There's lots of emotion here. Okay. In this place with your person, there's there's so much emotion here when this divine masculine is um making love to you okay i'm not i'm not specifically getting fucking okay no i'm not getting that i'm not getting that type of energy i'm getting i'm definitely getting making love right when it comes to this person this person makes love to you right this person knows that you like for them to make love to you, right? Um, I hear a lot of, of my divine feminines. That's what they like. Like some of y'all don't even like that, that fast shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't like quickies. You, you really like for your divine masculine to take their time with your body. You like for them to travel, even time travel, right, with you. It's a it's a journey. <laughs> this isn't just a fucking act. This is a journey that you two take together. 
right? This is a beautiful thing. This is a very intimate thing. This is a thing that they don't take lightly, whether you know it or not. Because you're a healer, you heal this person. That's why you snatch this divine masculine's soul. They've never experienced this before. They've never had your energy. They yearn for that. If you two are not together, they yearn for that. Okay. Something about jellyfish here. I'm not sure what that is. Somebody also, and somebody else has also taken a trip to um, Antarctic, Antarctica. Antarctica. Okay, I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing a cold place. I'm not sure who that's for. That's probably very uh, specific. Okay, but I'm yeah, I am seeing Antarctica. I'm also seeing whales. Okay, I'm also seeing jellyfish. Right. So okay, so with the jellyfish, I feel like uh, <laughs> I'm feeling a few things. I feel like you can you sting this person in such a good way, right? Right. Hmm. You also can sting this person in a bad way, right? Like teach them a lesson. Oh, damn. Soul snatching. Let's go. Let's keep going. Give me some more, spirit. Give me some more, please. What else? How else is your sex soul snatching? Okay. So we have... Prairie queen, okay? You're very divine. That's how you're able to do this, okay? This is how you're able to... Um, mm. You have a lot of orbs around you. I'm not sure if these are spirit guides. These definitely could, could be spirit guides, right? It, like I said, you're very divine. Like, like um, I feel like you have a lot of light uh, around you, okay? It doesn't mean that the darkness is bad, okay? Because we will be getting into that very soon. I will be bringing a whole nother feel to this channel, you guys. So be ready. Anyways, yes, there's a lot of light around you, okay? I'm hearing that somebody believes in angels, okay? Spirit guides are talking to you. This is why you have soul snatching sex because you're very, very divine. You're not even from this damn world, okay? You're very true to yourself when it comes to a lot of things. Like you don't give a damn about how what people think about, you know, who you are. You don't care about nobody's opinion about how you dress. You know what I'm saying? You don't even give a shit about what people say about you still loving this divine masculine. Right? Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. Clarify this shit, spirit. Spirit said you come from royalty. Look at this shit. Look at this. Can y'all see that? You come from royalty. You're royal. You have a royal bloodline. Okay. A very, very royal bloodline. Okay. I'm picking up Indian blood for some of you. Okay. Mmm. Yeah, some of you have Blackfoot Indian uh, blood. Some of you have Cherokee Indian blood. Okay, take that as it resonates. But you are definitely connected to um, the outer realm. Okay, you're connected to the outer realm. Let's keep going. We're going to grab one more card, you guys. And then we're, we're going to go ahead and get into some freakier shit, okay? Tiger energy, 
presence is here again, okay? So like I said, you're very present when you are uh, making love to your divine masculine, okay? Sometimes there is a, there's a very um, long stillness. And I feel like this stillness comes at the end, right? This stillness comes at the end when, uh, when your divine masculine has, um, mm, I'm getting two things. Okay. Okay. So the stillness comes at the end when your divine masculine releases himself inside of you. Okay. Uh, for others of you, the stillness comes when you guys are activating each other, okay, with um, your kundalini, right? Right? When you guys are trying to reach a certain level, I see um, a picture. Let me give y'all, let me give y'all the visual because I know y'all like the visuals, okay? So your divine masculine is sitting Indian style, okay? Well, I don't like to call it that, but, you know, with the legs crossed, that's, that's the best way I could describe it, you guys, okay? With the legs crossed, okay? You're on top of your divine masculine, okay? With the wand inside of you. And your legs are pretty much folded around your person's, um, the bottom, right? Around their, their butt, okay? So y'all both are sitting like Indian style, except you're facing each other, okay? And you're like riding this uh, divine masculine, okay? A lot of you do this on the floor. Some of you do this in the chair, Okay, and others of you do this at the edge of the bed. Okay, and you guys sometimes sit there, right? No matter where you are, you sit there. There's a stillness, okay? Or maybe it just feels very still, okay? Because for some of you, I feel a very slow rhythm going on, like a very... um. Like it's, it's like you're not moving, but you're moving, right? There's not any like prominent strokes. It's very gentle, very steel like. And this is what intensifies, right? This sex, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. That's beautiful. Okay. And you respect each other. You respect your divine masculine. And this is why you have snatched your divine masculine's soul, okay, through sex. All right? We're not going to sit here and act like, you know what I'm saying, sex isn't, isn't nothing. Because it's very much something, okay? It's a very, very beautiful thing. I hate when people take sex and just make it into something that's just like... Oh my God, you shouldn't be doing it. And you know what I'm saying? You, sh you shouldn't be doing it this way and that way. And, and you come on, we're going to stop that. Okay. We're all grown here. Okay. So let's keep going. Let's get into some more freaky shit. You guys, let's get into some more freaky shit. Well, actually, mm, I want to go in and I want to see how you've left this person like, right? Because I feel a lot of you are not with your divine masculine. So I do want to go in and I want to see like what the soul snatching sex has done to your person. What have they learned from from your sexual energy? Right. How are they growing? How are they growing spirit? What have they learned? fear they've learned to stop being so fearful <laughs> especially when it comes to you okay this your divine masculine knows how sexually powerful you are mm, they don't want nobody else to have that shit either okay they fear you giving this activation this uh, 
very divine energy, this sanctuary that they know you have to someone else. That is their biggest damn fear. Okay? Fear is here. That's their biggest fear. You giving it to somebody else. Okay? And if you've already given it to somebody else, they fear that the person that you gave it to is going to fall in love and get their soul snatched just like they did. <laughs> just like they did. Right? But for a lot of you, you haven't even had sex with nobody else. A lot of you have really been Sullivan for some years, okay? A lot of you been holding that sugar in, baby. You've been holding the sugar, the honey, the milk, whatever you want to call it. You've been holding that in. Because a lot of you want to... Um, A lot of you are, are, you know, you want to experience everything that you've been holding in with, with your divine masculine, right? Hmm. Okay. What else have they learned, spirit? Mm. They want to be successful with you. They want to have some type of successful union here, right? They want this shit to come together, you guys. And I know this ain't a re this is 18 plus. I know, I know. But I can only give you what spirit is giving me. They want some type of success here. It's almost like the six of wands, okay? Okay. And then again, they they know that you're always successful in pleasing them. Right? It's always a, a success. It's always a home run, right? When they enter their divine feminine, when they enter you. Oh, baby, they know that it's never a fail. It's never a dull moment with you. It's never whack or whatever else people's terms they be using. You know what I'm saying? It's none of that. <laughs> It's none of that. Even if it's not for that long, you know what I'm saying? Oh, trust me, activation happens, baby. Okay? Right. Blame. So we got blame here. I feel like this person blamed you for some things that happened in this connection. I'm not sure what happened here, but blame is here. You know? Or there was a lot of blame game going on. You did this. No, you did that. Right? But I do feel like you did teach this person to not blame others and take accountability for the shit that you've done. Okay, let's get one more card. Mm, humor. Humor is here. Right? So you've taught this person, you know what I'm saying, how to focus on the lighter side of things. Right? Right? I'm also hearing that your person is just funny as hell. Okay? Your divine masculine. Funny as hell. Funny as hell. All right. Let's get a little freakier, you guys. Let's get a little freakier. Mm. Give me some messages, spirit. Give me some nasty, freaky, soul-snatching messages. Okay. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, this is just a thought. This is just a thought from... Uh, your divine masculine. Your divine masculine is saying that you fucked them with your eyes. Okay? And you could be anywhere. You could be at the damn grocery store. Okay? <laughs> right? And you could just look at your person. Right? Right? And you just fuck them. Like, they, they, they are amazed 
at how you do this, right? It's literally like some of you guys are witches. <laughs> this person feel like you to cast a damn spell on their ass, right? Your eyes, somebody's eyes are beautiful, big and beautiful. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Somebody has big, beautiful brown eyes with long eyelashes, okay? I am seeing light eyes as well, but not as prominent as brown eyes, okay? I see a lot of brown eyes in the house. Mm. Your eyes hypnotize this person. Your eyes fuck this person every time you look at them. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So see, now we're getting we're now we're getting a little um now we're getting a little aggressive. I feel like um I feel like for the most part you guys definitely make love, right? But sometimes, right? Sometimes your person um sometimes your person likes it rough. Right? So you got to give it to this this person rough, right? I hear that, you know, this person definitely likes for you to ride the hell out of their ass. Okay? Mm, 31, 11 on the clock. Let's go. This person feels like you're dangerous. <laughs> OMG! Royals, what the, who am I talking to? Let me know in the comments below. Who the hell is this? Who is this energy? Let me know. I need to know who you are. Okay, because this person feels like you're damn, you're, you're, you're dangerous. Your energy is dangerous. Like you will, you will literally, and this ain't funny. So let me get serious. You will literally have somebody snap over the lotus. Okay. Somebody here will do some dangerous shit. Right. Over that lotus. Mm. Damn, you see how that energy flipped? Your divine masculine will do some dangerous shit for that lotus. Okay. Okay. Which is funny because they're saying that you're dangerous, okay? Your shit is so dangerous that you make them do dangerous shit, right? Mm, that's crazy. Okay, look. I don't care if they see. <laughs> so for some of you, this is your energy, divine feminine. You don't care who sees, right? Because you know what you bring to the table. You know how you rock this person's world, Right? So let them watch. Right? Ooh, give it to you painfully slow. Okay, so this is the energy I'm picking up off of that. Somebody's divine masculine is very well packing. Okay, somebody got a big ass wand. Okay, and if it ain't big and long, okay, it's short and thick. And those is dangerous too, okay? And painfully good. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys. Mm. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, this person gives it to you painfully good. They do. But even though they give it to you painfully good, you're still the one snatching their damn soul. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're they're giving it to you painfully good, but you're still that divine feminine energy snatching their soul, okay? take the initiative okay so yes this is also how you snatch your person's soul because you're not one to just sit there like a starfish okay y'all know how i be talking about starfish okay you don't just sit there like a starfish like you're putting in the work as well right a lot of you take the initiative to 
have sex with your person, right? You're the first one to grab that kiss or steal that kiss. You're the first one groping and grabbing and squeezing on shit, right? You're the first one that um, initiates a lot of this. And they love that about you. They like that they don't have to be the first one to go after it, right? Your divine masculine definitely likes to be chased, okay? And you do that, especially when it comes to the bedroom, okay? I want you all to myself. This person wants you all to their self. I told you that. I told you that their biggest fear was you giving it away. Didn't I already tell you that? Wet panties. I said at the at said damn, I can't even talk. I said that at the beginning as well, right? That if this divine masculine is a female, panties be wet all day. Okay. Panties be wet all day. Just keep going. Come in your mouth. That always comes out. Y'all, you know what? <laughs> oh my god so i'm just gonna be straight up this is for a lot of you this is what snatched your person's damn soul okay when you opened your mouth nice and wide for this person to aim and shoot <laughs> all of that divine cream straight onto your tongue okay Mhm. Mm that's what snatched their soul exactly what snatched it all right mm, for some of you this is a sneaky link okay for some of you divine uh feminines your divine masculine is a sneaky link okay some of you are taken some of you are married right and when you met your divine masculine you know it was just like fuck you know, I'm married, I have children, you know, um, some of you feel bad that you snatched your person's soul, damn, right, because you, you knew that you couldn't be with this person at that time, wrong time, right person, that's deep, let's keep going, the way that ass moves, baby. Yes, divine masculine is an ass person. Okay, they love the way that ass moves. Okay, I love your curves. Okay, thin, thick, medium, whatever. Okay, this person loves your curves. Okay, they love the angles uh, that they look at you, right, in the bedroom when the lights are low. Right. Some of your divine masculines like the way your titties poke out, right? Your nipples be hard when they see your silhouette, right? Or when when they're looking at you, um, they see, you know, your hips and how beautiful they are. You're very feminine uh, way that you move in the bedroom. Okay. Somebody has long legs. They love this, love this, love this. Okay. Ride this dear P. I told y'all. I already told y'all y'all be riding y'all's person. Okay. Let's keep going. I want to get some energy from this deck that okay with you spirit yes okay mm. okay <laughs> i don't know what's going on here okay all right give me some energy from this deck why does the divine feminine have soul snatching sex spirit see this you stay on this person's mind okay 
all of the sex that you have with your divine masculine is literally like uh, photographed in their mind. They cannot get this out of their mind. Okay. I feel like a lot of you have taken pictures and you've sent them to your divine masculine and they still have them. Right. These are still memories. Right. There's still songs that this divine masculine plays in their head when it comes to you. Okay. This is another way you have snatched your person's soul. Okay. Okay. You got that sweet kiss, baby. <laughs> you got, you got. It's something about your kiss. Right. Some of you, your divine masculine is bald headed. Okay. They have a bald head and you kiss their bald head. Right. Or you kiss in between their eyebrows. Right. You kiss their nose. You're a kisser. You kiss everywhere. <laughs> right? They have so much love for you, though. You know? They really do, you guys. They do. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Safe space is here again. Okay? So that's just confirmation, y'all. It's just, just confirmation. How you snatch a person's soul. Right? with your intimacy okay i am hearing that uh a lot of you are very intelligent as well divine feminines right you snatch this person's soul not only through intimacy but you snatch it through your mind damn that's powerful i know y'all better be talking to me <laughs> y'all better be letting me know who this is okay I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop this reading. Look at this. I'm telling you, some of you guys are engaged. Okay. Some of you are engaged or married. All right. Some of you will be engaged to this divine masculine. Okay. Okay. Because they can't leave your ass alone. They can't. Okay. Date night. A lot of you snatched this person's soul on the very first date. <laughs> you put the lotus on this person the very first night. And no judgment. You know what I'm saying? Do you? We grown, you know, and you snatched your person's soul that night. Okay. I see a lot of drinking going on. Uh, wine. Right. There was definitely wine involved. Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Cheers to something. Maybe you guys said cheers to something. Okay. Look at this. Gifts and offers, right? You snatched this person's soul so bad through sex that they started buying you shit. You know what I'm saying? They were buying you gifts, offering you things, right? All kinds of shit going on here. Ooh, wee! Past life is here. I'm telling you, you've been knowing this person. You have been with this person for several lifetimes, you guys. You've been snatching that soul for several lifetimes, so... I'm not even shocked, you know, that you're here on earth, here in the 3D, still doing the same thing. Okay, can't nobody do it like you. Self-love because you love yourself, right? This person loves that you love yourself, baby. You got 32 flavors. Look at this shit. You have 32 flavors that you put on, on this person. You whip it on this person, okay? Shoot, you had this person tripping. Hmm. Mm. Somebody likes um somebody likes cotton candy ice cream. Hmm. Or some type of pink ice cream. Maybe it's a uh, I'm hearing Sherbert. I'm hearing shortcake. Some type of shortcake, birthday ice cream. I don't know red flags okay 
So, yes, I do feel like, um, mm, you snatched this person's soul even though you saw the red flags, right? You saw the red flags, but you still was like, you know, I think, I don't think you purposely snatched your person's soul. For some of you, you did not purposely do this. <laughs> Right. For some of you, you don't even know the power of your lotus. You don't even know that you possess this power over your person. Right. You snatched their soul. And the next thing you know, you started seeing red flags and shit. They didn't know what to do with this. They didn't know what to do with this energy. You guys, your energy. They ran from this shit. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> they ran from this. Mm. Damn. Let's get one more card out here, Spirit. One more card, please. This scared your person. For some of you, this scared your person that you snatched their soul like this. I mean, it does sound scary. It does. And it can be. You know? And they ran. They ran from this very divine love this very divine energy but some of some of your divine masculines you know felt like you were a witch and you put put a spell on them okay look at this commitment oh i'm ending it here you guys commitment this person wants to be committed to you okay you snatched that ass up so bad right maybe this person was scared of commitment you snatched them up so bad that now they are wanting commitment, right? They're thinking, you know, further in life. They're thinking how this could be with you. You know, if I stop running and I start committing, right? Because they don't want nobody else to have you. I'm telling you that right now. Let's go into a dedicated song. Let's go into a dedicated song. What song? Are you, Divine Feminine, <laughs> dedicating to your Divine Masculine, right? What song are you dedicating to your Divine Masculine? I want you guys to go and listen to this song after you're done. Look up the video. Watch the video, you guys. Okay? What song are you dedicating to your divine masculine? Give me some energy, spirit. Give me some energy. Ooh. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This couldn't be perfect, y'all. Don't Love Me by Neo. If you have not heard this song or you have not seen the video, you will understand why I am saying this was the perfect song for this reading. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. You guys, thank you so much for being here with me. You guys' support mean so, so much. The Royals are continuing to grow, you guys. I'm 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 looking at these subscribers like what? Where where is all these subscribers coming from? You know? But I love it. I love you guys. I want to continue to um, you know, elevate, right? Uh send you guys out these messages, right? Continue to connect connect with y'all. Talk to me. Y'all know I love that shit, right? Hit that like button if you have not already. If you're looking for a personal reading, everything you guys that you need to know is in the description box below. Okay? It's your favorite goddess. Goddess Platinum and I'm out.